All right, to help with your graphs, um, you can organize your information in these tables. So this velocity here is going to be your horizontal velocity that mass one leaves the table with. And then you're going to find the velocity at a quarter of the time, half the time, three quarters of the time, and the full time in the air. So I want to remind us that our uh, initial velocity we're starting with is only horizontal. And then as we go through our times, we're gaining vertical velocity. So we're going to take the horizontal velocity we calculated uh, in our earlier part, and we're going to add it to the vertical velocity at each of these time intervals. So at time zero, when it's leaving the table, it only has horizontal velocity. But this is going to be my horizontal plus my vertical when, when time is a quarter, my horizontal plus my vertical when time I'm half in the air, and three quarters in the air and my total time in the air. So again, this total time is going to be from when we what we calculated in our uh, part two, this time here. But since I don't have that time yet, I just put it as time t. And with this information, you can calculate your kinetic energy. So the velocity in our kinetic energy equation is going to be the velocity that we're using here. Uh, when it's just leaving the table, it's only going to be horizontal velocity. And then for the rest, it's got a horizontal component plus a vertical component to give us our, our total velocity of our marble. And then our height h is going to be, when we're at our, our, just leaving the table, this h is going to be the highest. It's going to be the h that we measure. And then we'll plug it in to our equation to solve for the h at each of these times. If t equals, t equals t, this height will be 0. And our gravitational potential energy will also be zero. But we do have some velocity when this marble is projected, so we have some have, have some velocity plus we have some height. So we do have uh, both kinetic and potential when we're leaving the table. We're going to set up for marble two the same way. Your velocity uh, horizontal will be added to your velocity vertical at these time intervals. So you need to solve for your vertical velocity, add it to your horizontal velocity to get to your total velocity at time, a quarter of the time, half the time, three quarters of the time, and our total time. And then we can get our kinetic energy. Our height, of course, is going to be the height of the table, and then that will go down as we uh, go through our motion, and then our gravitational potential energy will go down as well. That'll be that.